Hi everyone, my name is Christian, I'm here with Jonas and today we want to show you one of our new innovations, the BCM Configuration Assistant. The BCM Configuration Assistant is a software tool that we have implemented in the Condition Monitoring Toolkit that enables and supports you for easy configuration of Condition Monitoring Sensors. You, as a user, you can put your application-related input into the software and the software is automatically creating an appropriate parameter set that you can deploy directly on the sensor. Here, today we are on the Balloff building. We have a big ventilation system behind us that we want to monitor today. So let's jump over and have a look on the machine. We now arrived at the fan. Let's see how and where the BCM are mounted. There are two BCM on the asset. One is mounted right here, close to the bearing of the 50 kilowatt Siemens motor that is driving the fan. The other one is here on the driven end, right on top of the bearing where the fan is driven. So let's head over to the computer and start to configure the BCMs. Starting from the landing point, we click on the three points at the top right corner and click on setting to see the connected sensors. We choose the first BCM and see that we can add in the tab configuration assistant in the bottom right corner a new configuration. Since the first BCM is mounted on the motor, we choose motor. We use the ISO 10816-3 to monitor the motor's vibration. It's a 50 kW motor, so we choose 15 to 300 kW. And the shaft height is in between the range of 160 to 315 mm. The motor has a variable speed between 120 and uh, 15,000 RPM and the motor and the fan are mounted on a frame that is uh, connected via springs to the foundation so it's an elastic connection. The z-axis is the main radial axis and we continue in the window to click next. Now the configuration assistant automatically generated the um, severity zones from the ISO standards and also the pre and the main alarm level. If we want, we can now shift the levels uh, up and down manually, but now we just stick to the ISO standard. At the end of the configuration, we give the whole asset a name. This is the motor on the drive side, and we save the configuration. Now in the configuration assistant tab, we see our uh, configuration and with clicking on deploy, it will be sent to the sensor. After a few seconds in the bottom center, you see that the configuration was deployed successfully. After wiring the sensors properly, we shut the door and did restart the fan some minutes ago. Let's look on the acquired data. For that, we click just right here in the middle and the dashboard or the visualization opens immediately. First, we see that the vibration velocity VRMS in the C direction is green for port one and for port two as well, meaning both vibration levels are below the pre-alarm levels we previously set. For example, here we can see the four charts for the first PCM and here we see the vibration velocity in the C direction. In the next four charts we see the process data of the second PCM and on the bottom right corner we see the vibration velocity of the C direction of the PCM that is mounted on the fan. Both levels are below the ISO standards pre-alarm level. 
So now you saw how easy it is to configure a condition monitoring sensor with the configuration assistant. The configuration assistant is available on the CMTK from now on, but we plan to bring it to other software platforms like the Balof Engineering Tool in the near future. Right now we are supporting motor, pumps, fans and compressors, but we are working hard to develop other assets as well. So stay tuned for updates.